Ski Wo. <laughs> Folks, welcome to Everything Pro Wrestling. Everything Pro Wrestling is a show by the fans for the fans. I'm your host, Conrad Cushman, being joined tonight by the man in black. He, he has a bet. He's the one, the only. What, what are you wearing, Naruto? Nah, uh, Demon Slayer. Shouts out to Demon Slayer. Fire. The man in black, the man they call Derek. What's up, D? Yo, what up, everybody? We are going to review the latest episode of AEW Dynamite. There's going to be some uh, fallout from All Out. That rhymed on purpose. We're going to be talking about what's going on with AEW. Lots of future kind of talk, too, I think, within all of this. And we're going to get into this week's episode. We're going to uh, hit that intro and get into it. Let's get it. Yep. Man. Yo, yo, yo. Another episode of Dynamite in the books. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling tonight about it. Not mm. not mad. Not uh not joyous either, though. Yeah. I don't know. Um it was some good. It was different. There was some good, there was some bad, there was some ugly, I thought, tonight for it. And some of the ugly just came in the forms of, like, decisions made. Yes. Um, if you guys are here, though, do me a favor. If you're in the live chat, number one, talk. I want you guys in here to give your opinions on tonight's Dynamite. Uh, go through the show with us. Rock with us. Also, if you're in the live chat, make sure you hit the like button on the bottom watching us live on YouTube. You guys can find us on YouTube. Just type at EPW Show. That's our social media handle. You guys can find us everywhere with it. I'm usually pretty tame and quiet on there, though, because you ain't catching me slipping. If I give my opinion, I'm going to come back with some joust. <laughs> I was jousting for the last week or two with people over the uh, the last drama. There's some people, too. Like I said, if you find out who I support, you never know what could end up happening to you. Right. So, so watch yourself. Watch yourself. But um, other than that... Um, yeah, man, make sure you guys show love. And if you're listening on the audio version of the podcast, which I would appreciate is subscribe from people, uh, we are climbing the ranks on good pods. Leave us that five-star rating. Helps more people find us. Does really good in the algorithm. So make sure you guys do that as well. First comment of the night comes from Colton Gunn. Any relation to Austin or Billy? Conrad, I'm a Nyla fan, and I hope this four-way shows that she could do more than her little two to three week pushes, then she's in catering for months. I would hope so too. Yeah. Nyla is uh, much better than she gets credit for. I would take Britt and Sheeta out and replace them with, let's say sky blue and Julia Hart. I I don't, I don't agree with that sentiment fully. Uh, I like the other young ladies, but let's Britt and Sheeta are still your top, top dog contenders right now. The, The other people you named are on the rise, but We'll see. Renegade L2K. Where's my mods at when I need them? <laughs> we don't, we're not talking about the Jets. We're not talking about people's uh the last time they had a quarterback that came from somewhere else that was famous. He was out here trying to pub sneak and show off, show off his his purple helmet. We don't need none of that up in here. <laughs> Hit the bricks. All right. We don't need to hear about that. Bills, baby. Let's go. BJ. Hope everything is hope everything is having a good night. I'm gonna assume that's everything pro wrestling. So we're gonna take that. Good night. Good night. Always remember, guns up. <laughs> good, good stuff. I love Bullet Club Gold. Uh original biggie. OB1. Good evening, W. Good evening, Chad. Hope y'all are good. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> he shows up tonight, though. <laughs> Jesus Delion. What's up, Conrad Derek? This was a reset dynamite. <laughs> and one of the best this year. 
What? Go ball, what? Yo. Yo. I don't I don't ever say this because I hate it, but you capping right now, bro. <laughs> Conrad, I told you it was going to be good. Y'all are capping about best of the year lately, and I'm getting real tired of it. If you thought All Out was the best pay-per-view AEW put on this year, I do not agree. Yeah. I will name three pay-per-views better than that that AEW put on. Yeah. No. No. And uh, with this, I don't see this as one of the better Dynamites this year. Not the way I'm feeling. No. Nah. Cactus. Hey, hey. I can't feel my arm, so I'm here for Cowboy. She is knit. You ain't getting me in trouble. What up, Cac? Swerve. Cac. Uh... You uh you still doing that that move with Drake? You got you got the garage full of bras. <laughs> what, what's up with your man's cat? <laughs> what's up with your man's? <laughs> Swerve Joe and MJF did their thing on the mic tonight. That that was one of the more entertaining parts of the show. Yeah. Ace, what up, Conrad? Derek, chat. Dynamite was a good show. Ace enjoyed it. Six at sup. What up, six? Sean Hubbard of Hubbard Wrestling Weekly. We host a podcast every Monday live at 6.05 called Clash of the Podcasts. Make sure you guys are there every single Monday at 6.05. Sean says, what up, Conrad? My guy, Derek. One, swerving the main event spot is good business, unless he loses. We'll see. Darby, we love you, bro, but stop putting your life on the line. I don't think Darby cares, bro. He never has. Yeah. Since since the start of Dynamite, I'm pretty sure he has never cared. Main event tonight, meh. Ooh. My guy hubs. I thought Nick Wayne did pretty good, though. Nick Wayne's not bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, question for Derek. What's next for the House of Black? Um, I, I think you take a small hiatus right now. Just a small one. When we get Malachi and singles matches again, that that would be nice. I, I think that's why we get the the break right now. We get the break. Malachi goes back uh, goes back to singles, and then um, oh my god, Brody and um, what, what? buddy, buddy. Always, I always keep wanting hey, to say, but <laughs> I, I think they go for the the regular tag team titles. Got to do something. Jason Burnett says, OMG, this show made me want to go insane like Swerve tonight, LOL. Pro Wrestling Shoot, I'm here. Hope everyone is doing well with this fine evening. What up, Jesse? Uh, are you kidding me, Conrad? No Miro in the tournament? What happened to my boys Santana and Ortiz? Is they done now? I I, I, I kind of feel like that, bro. Like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing with a lot of stuff. They got it. Well, you know right now they're scrambling. Well... We'll see. There's a lot of scrambled eggs in here. Ah, I wonder why. Breakfast? We, we had omelets. Now we got scrambled eggs. Breakfast at Tiffany's. All right. <laughs> Original Biggie said NMD. No more drama until the next one. I'm kind of on the, the Mark Henry side of things. Did I keep that up here or did I delete it? Where, where Mark Henry at? I just want to read this quote because I think it pertains to what original Biggie just said. Mark Henry was on Busted Open Radio and he was talking about AEW firing CM Punk. Now I had to listen to this. So we're going to put a little sarcasm on this when you hear this because that's how I felt it went. And I don't think it was sarcastic. It was more, okay, so the problem is gone. The problem is solved. Now you can go freely and there will be no more complaining. There should be no more complaining. The problem is gone. The so-called problem is everything should be shits and giggles and unicorn pee and rainbow blankets. That's what it should be now. I'm curious to see how it's going to be. The problem is solved. I listened to this at the recommendation of Jesse, who was in the chat as the pro wrestling shoot. Check them out every Tuesday. Don't say I don't give you guys no burn, no marketing on here. It was very true. It was. Um I really liked what Mark Henry said. And I, after hearing all of what he had to say on that Busted Open, uh, it's the All Out episode. You can go find it on Spotify, wherever else. Listen to us first. And <laughs> when you go over there and you check that out, Mark Henry had me thinking he should be the head of talent relations after when he was done. I agree. I would much rather have Mark Henry in that role because he seems to understand the seriousness behind it. Yes. And when you have, when you have someone who understands that, it makes things easier. 
so much easier and everything will fall into place. But there should be no more drama. Drama free. A said unprovoked Joe was in the building tonight. He was. Bills over Jets on Monday. That's my guy, Jesus. That's what we're going to be watching this Monday. If it ain't going to be the other show. Um, you never know though. Raw Raw may put on a good episode. You don't know what could happen. Nah, bro. We 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 already got to that point where we we <laughs> we, we shut that off. At least you don't have Chris Williams popping in with inappropriate names. Jimmy Jack Tank's always welcome in here. <laughs> if you ask me, someone came into the chat with that name, Jimmy Tate. I was in tears yesterday. Pro wrestle shoot is wild. Deanna said, "How about my Bengals? Since it's football talk, I think we got something for him this time. You got away last time." I'm ready this time. I hope we can beat them. I'm a little nervous, but when when, when we, we play, play them in regular season. When? Uh, I don't Late, remember. Later in the season, right? I don't remember. I think it's later in the uh, let's see. Here you go. I was I want to say it's later in the season. Here you go. We'll see. Derek's gonna look that up. Jason says, Sup, Kyra, Derek. I got a group for uh the name of your band, guys. LOL. We already got a group name, bud. Got a group name. Gun Club, BC Gold, best entrance in the industry. Not much of a stretch as it sounds. Really, really good. They should be on TV a lot more often. Yeah, I agree. November 5th. November 5th. That's not too far away. Two months. Uh, No, it was the best in the world. Wow. Wow. Low blows. You see? You see? Maybe they'll go do a victory lap. Yeah, yeah it's all fun and games, so someone else makes a joke that it's Hey, that's not right. <laughs> I was bored tonight. It had, I was, I had some uh, Jack and Pepsi tonight. They call it brawling now. Oh, here we go. Brutal finish for Maine. Brutal as in good or brutal as in bad? Crazy. I know this is random, but it's crazy to me after Punk's firing. TK looked right past Ricky Starks to Danielson to be the face of collision. That's his choice. Yeah. People laughing at BJ. When are you going to let Derek play Malachi in the game? Yo, listen. Derek needs to show up on time, number one. If you knew what time Derek arrived tonight for this review, he shouldn't even be talking about the first match. (laughs) All right? Derek was late again. (laughs) Again. When am I getting my win by DQ or something? Count out. bro. Telling you. Malachi Black, bro. Yeah, switch that up, bro. We gotta do best of three or something. You can use them <laughs> once, but not not every time. Uh <laughs> pissing money away. Learn from your daddy, Tony. I don't know if his daddy a great manager either. I don't see no Jaguar chips floating around. Uh we ain't talking about Jeff Hardy. You ain't getting me in trouble, cactus. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Sips unicorn pee. Come on, bro. Come on. You in here wild and Kyrie, you might as well let your boy use black. You can use Captain Insano. Nah, that don't even up no rank, bro. Captain Insano can get them feet. He going to get them paws put on him. Heels up, nips up, Mark is right. Did Hangman really make that post about Punk's toys, or was that made up? Uh, that was not a real one. But people were posting Hangman's action figure today, like, look at what he sold. And I'm like, dude, it's an exclusive figure. Like, relax, guys. Right. Uh, because it's real. Because if it's real, like I said, about Kenny drinking the Pepsi spitting out, that's some bitch ass shit. No, he didn't do that though. I'll keep it a stack. Mark, mother effing Henry, you damn right. Everybody feeling it. Why don't you have that energy when uh Punk was there? What energy? I do no, we've been saying this about dynamite for weeks now. Oh, yeah. Dynamite's been kind of, I don't know what's the deal. And I pref- I'll tell you guys about collision later. I have a, I have a fear right now, but I'm hoping that my fears will be calm when I watch the show on Saturday. Matt Lopez says, hello. Good evening, everyone. What up, Matt? Uh, Steelers all day. That era is over for now. We're going to be all right. I'll tell you why. Because wham, that's why. Hot football take from Hub. Bills, I'm an impartial Giants fan. Bills, Allen, window quickly closing. They better do it in 2023 or their window might close permanently. Think about it. (sighs) Why can't we have nothing? We can't have nothing. Nobody ever said this about Tom Brady and the homies. How'd they keep winning? Nah. Yeah, 
Kicking, what snow snow kick, plows kicking arse and taking names let's clear this for the let's clear this for the field goal kicker he needs <laughs> room bro nah man they did a lot of whackness what what was whack about that you gotta be able to kick the ball bro you brought a snow plow on the field to kick a field goal gotta, you, how many let me ask you this if you had to bet if i said Derek, there's a million dollars here but you gotta guess right have the new england patriots ever cheated in football what during the reign it? of <laughs> what team has it <laughs> that tells you all you need to know about this team the yankees never cheated look at look at how why many... are we changing this at different sport <laughs> look at how many championships the yankees have uh he said no nah, i meant the pepsi thing so the weird thing with the pepsi thing is kenny said that he didn't want he was like stop it to people when they were saying that but some people felt like it was a shot at punk because the next shot in the video was Chicago pizza and Coca-Cola. Yes. I don't know how to feel about it. I'm listen, I'm gonna take Kenny at his word. I'm he, not. He said, <laughs> This guy, chill, man. What if the elite wanted to be a guest on here one time? You just flushed it for me right down the tube. No, no, I, I keep my comments to myself until they get on the show. Then we're, then we're really going. No, we're not. See, this Lamb is going based it. That's not how professionalism works in this world. I mean, it'll, it'll be professional. <sighs> Listen. A lot less cuss words. The Pepsi thing, I don't know. He said, someone said it was an electrolyte bottle. I don't know how to take that. Mm. He, they said it was supposed to be some homage to Terry Funk. You, you tell it how you want to believe it, bro. Was it, though? Terry Funk apparently accidentally like drank kerosene one time. Because he forgot that it was in a bottle. <laughs> he was like, oh, this tastes terrible. <laughs> so, <laughs> shout out to Terry Funk. I thought that Adam Cole learned a lesson from the last time uh, he and Joe were in the same room. Chill. Uh, Keck said, De La Ghetto, serve it knuck if you buck knuckle sandwiches. <laughs> I just wish Tony could push the sky. Wait, I wish Tony would push sky the way HBK pushed Cora J. Listen, Sky Blue's in a, a fine spot. She is. Let let Sky Blue do her thing. She'll get there. Uh, the Saints will continue to be in mediocrity this year. <laughs> Tom Brady kept winning because of deflation. Too many balls are spying on the other team. Facts. Ah, so put me balls deflated. How do you throw? How do you throw those that number of money yards? Oh my goodness! People are getting into the football talk. Will Ospreys confirm for the next Impact Wrestling Impact Wrestling Bound for Glory and TV tapings the next night? Okay, Derek, during the interview. So, Matt, why are you a – hey, we come on. Come on. Come on. We can't be up in here talking like that. We got to have some respect. Send in for the man. Well. We can't, we can't be talking like that about people. That's a legitimate question. Let's get into this show tonight, shall Our we? Our own media scrum. I don't like that term, media scrum. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> it, 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 it sounds it's a, so awkward. It's a weird word. Media scrum. Not even a scrum. It's a press conference at this point, right? Like, there's people around asking questions, Pretty whatever. Well. Whatever. And nobody asks, like, great questions. <sighs> don't get me started, bro. I, I, tonight, I'm trying to not even talk about punk. But nobody asks good questions about Punk except for a couple people. I was like, what's up with this, bro? Like, it's right there. He can't say no comment now. Ask him. Ask him. So many people have caught Tony in lies. Like, it was reported today. No, I'm talking about it now for a second. Like, it was reported today CM Punk was an employee of AEW. How come nobody's going to be like, yo, Tony, didn't you say he wasn't an employee? You danced around that before. Yeah. Oh, nobody's going to be like, well, Tony, you lied. I say get at him. That's all I'm saying. Ask the hard questions that you guys want to know the answers to. Call it like you see it. Easy E in the chat. What up, E? Yo. Keep Paul White off my television. Well, don't bash the young ducks. They are innocent. Falls over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're innocent. All right. Softball questions. They were, man. They were. So we started off tonight's show with a little Orange Cassidy. I actually thought that the uh, – I changed – so this week I didn't put, like, the dynamite like I usually do with all the matches on it. And maybe I'll go back to it next week. But I did Orange Cassidy, bloody Orange Cassidy with the best friends and Chris Statlander. I thought that was such a cool photo. And I think Orange Cassidy has been elevated to the main event of uh, Dynamite 
AEW. He's yeah. on top of his game. Yeah, This is one of the better things that they should be focusing on. Um, I thought Orange did a hell of a job. I don't know. How do you guys feel about Orange's promos? They, they're they weird to me. I think it's just because I'm not used to hearing him talk. And now he's yeah. talking a lot. And I'm like, uh, uh, uh. I, I think it kind of takes away from the, uh, the character. What it was originally designed to be. Yeah. Because <clears throat> when we start adding... Um, talking to a character that doesn't talk on a regular basis. Now I feel like you're trying to overly do what you want to do. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking too far into it, but I think it's just a little too much. Yo, Cactus, you should have been at that show tonight. He said, hide me. I'm in fear of my life after watching the show tonight. You cut it out. You cut it out. Tonight was interesting. So, as Orange is leaving, he's doing the whole, my name is Orange Cassidy, and I don't have a catchphrase. And as he's leaving out, you hear, wow, dang. John Moxley, the new AEW International Champion, comes out to face A.R. Fox. I don't know if this is A.R. Fox's punishment, but he is right back to where he was before Swerve helped him out. And, yeah, A.R. Fox did some nice dives to the floor in this one. He did his thing. Um but he got caught, paradigm shift, DDT, and it was over. I'm still not over, like, the dumb baby face syndrome of Darby Allen. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. why are you consoling AR Fox if right. he turned on you? And then, like, I get Nick Wayne. Like, bro, this dude held glass up to this man's face and neck. And he, Darby's like, no, he's cool, bro. He's cool. Y'all uh, driving me nuts, man. Y'all driving me nuts with this. Misguided. Yeah. Yeah, they should they should have just left him where he was. Exactly. You could have did an injury angle to AR Fox and just left him with Swerve. Oh, absolutely. See, they, they that's BS, bro. I don't know. I'm not a fan of what they did with that. Uh, after, though, Christian Cage and Luchasaurus find Nick Wayne, and they say, you look like you need a father figure <laughs> in ultimate terms, and Christian Cage is here for you. Um, it looks like they're trying to set up. Will Nick Wayne go with Christian Cage and Luchasaurus? Uh, I don't see why not. Yeah. Just leaving it there? Yeah. <laughs> that, that's very low, Derek. <laughs> OC needs the uh, Sammy Q cards. Maybe they'll give him that gimmick. Maybe. Uh, I think Orange Cassidy is growing out of the gimmick to elevate, like, Jack Crimea River Perry. <laughs> Uh, I think Orange is over him, truthfully. Not going to lie. Look at it this way. AR Fox may have lost, but he was in a match with Mox, who is the leader in the company. Basically. Yeah, depending on who feels who that you, way. Who you ask. Yeah, it depends on who you ask. Um, moving forward, though, then we went into the TBS championship match. We had an open challenge tonight with Chris Statlander versus Emi Sakura. Um, this is the first time we've seen Emi Sakura in a singles match, I think, on Dynamite since, I think they said 2019, December? Really? Yeah. I'm, I must have missed that. I did not know it was that long. Way, way too long. Well, welcome back. Another one of my issues. Why, why was she on the sidelines for so long? Right, yeah. She brings people in, and they just, I don't get it, dude. I don't understand why they have people and then they just keep them out for that long a time. Like it don't make sense to me. So whatever, it's gonna be that way. Uh, Cage is gonna be at Wayne's mom, <laughs> like Tony Stark after Aunt May. Yo, chill, <laughs> chill, 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 chill. chill. Uh, my only other issue, other than Statlander and MJF, what champion are there who weren't in WW? So. Mr. Colton Gunn, <laughs> as your name states, I'm going to tell you something. And I want people to keep remembering this when I say this. Everybody worked for WWE at some point, at some time in the last 20 years. Yes. You probably worked for WWE because there was no other major company around to do work for. There's not many guys who were like, yeah, I spent my whole career in TNA or ROH. Yeah. They, they're just not there. WWE took all of them. Seth Rollins, Roderick Strong, Samoa Joe, all these people have been to WWE. So I don't like hearing that whole, like, who wasn't in WWE? Right. Well, now WWE's taking people who are in AEW, from AEW. It's the same thing. 
Same revolving door. Yes. Um, B-Boy Skyline said the show lacked meat. R.I.P. to General Adnan. Yes, I did see General Adnan passed away today from uh, Pro Wrestling World. I, Eric, I know it's you. I know it's you, Eric. I'm just calling you the name I see on the screen. But, yeah, R.I.P. to General Adnan. Uh, Sakura did some really good things early on. I did like the power bomb stack up, went for the pen. Statlander gets the win with Wednesday Night Fever. Statlander's character is still missing that something. Like, we say stuff, and that doesn't mean it goes away the next week after we've said it. Got to define that character a little bit more. Yeah, you have to. Um, let's make it happen. You know, like, I, I'm really starting to miss the uh, the time and the effort that was put into characters and their gimmicks and their storylines. Let's get back to that. You know, slow, shh, slow. Oh my God. I can't talk slowly, but shortly let's get back to that because it needs, we need a little bit more substance and not just stuff. That's just kind of there. Deanna said, where's the meat? Not appropriate Derek. So, I have something to say about the storyline stuff, too. I thought that Tony Khan came off very ignorant when he said that I'm not listening to people about storyline builds and stuff like that going into the match cards. I think you need to. I think you should as well. I think, listen, I'm going to tell you guys this. I'm going to let you all in on a little secret. Anybody can put on a wrestling show with bangers today. There are so many talented wrestlers. That's not the issue. The real thing is, what's your character and what are the stories we are trying to tell with your character? And how can you be different than everyone else? That's what makes you special. Right. And I think that if Tony needs a writer, get one writer. I'm not saying you need a room full of them like WWE. No. Get one. You get one guy who can work with you. That's it. That's all you need. You don't need anything more than that. Sometimes I think they try to simplify the storytelling with some of the stuff being um, in regards to the matches, but build the matches up. I'm one of the people that give you more credit than other people will. Yeah. I tell you, like, listen, bro, they're telling a story in the ring. That's fine. You can do that, too. Yeah. But you need to have good build going into the pay-per-views. Do not just do like what you did with All Out, where it's like a week later, boom, 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 give me yeah. $50. That, yeah. that, that That's insane. Get someone to flesh out the story. And make it make it make sense so that we can have a good story on a good product so we can come back here and talk to you guys about it and we can confer our notes and do whatever. But the storytelling needs to be better. And for Tony to say that it, he's not listening to anybody about that. Well, I think he got tired of hearing the the bi itching about it. So I, mean, I I get it, but it's got it's got to make sense though. Yeah, but wrestling fans, there's a lot of whining, pickle, a lot of whining. Pickle, uh, pickles. And BJ did mention Emmy was going back and forth during the pandemic in Japan. She does help with a lot of the Joshi promotions, but that's why she should be on TV more. That was a long time not to be on TV, BJ. Yeah, what was it again? Nine months? No, 2019, 29. December oh, yeah, to yeah, now. Yeah. So that's basically like when they first started Dynamite. Yeah. Crazy. That's a long time for Derek Boop. The meat is at Arby's. <laughs> that was a good one. Like I'm that. I'm thinking Arby's. I'm here at the gas pump. Tony Bischoff doesn't need to listen to anyone but the elite and friends, apparently. Creative control, brother. Wow. Remember when she faced former AEW women's champion Jamie Hayter back in January on Rampage? Boo this show. Screw TK. <laughs> Welcome, Casey. Welcome. Uh, she's been on TV, just not in a singles match, to be fair. that I said that before, though. We said it was a singles match. That was the official stat. But not on TV enough. No, no excuse. No, no excuse for Emmy Sakura not to be on TV. I have an issue with Emmy Sakura, Nyla Rose, and some of these other folks who don't get to be on TV enough. They should be on TV way more often than they are. Right. But here you have someone saying he doesn't buy into the storylines. Well, here you go. You got somebody, you got a couple people that can help you buy into it. Let's change some things up. Switch it around. Let's see what they do, though. And and this show was a little bit of switching it up. Yes. Um going in. Oh, I'm jumping ahead here. Hold on, hold on. Roderick Strong cuts a promo 
talking about his parents. Sad as sap in the world, this dude walking around with a neck brace on, and I'm sad. Right, right. I had a hard life. It's actually a good character for Roderick Strong. It is. Because usually he's someone who they would say is very bland. Yeah. Now he's wearing the glasses. You just want to, oh, he's just so punchable. But he's good. He's good. Ah. I've appreciated it. Hanging out with the kingdom. We'll see what that does for him. But yes. right now, they're they're doing some things. The, the gimmick that he has right now is working for him. And this little promo that he cut tonight, I loved it. It was different. Promos weren't the problem tonight. Well, yeah, this is true. Promos were not the problem. Um, next up, we have Aussie Open versus Jericho and Sammy Guevara. I apologize for this graphic being a little fuzzy. Tell Tony kind of put these shits out a little bit uh, more on time. All right? Another issue I had with tonight. We're just getting matches announced. Aussie Open, Jericho and Sammy Guevara, a.k.a. The Sex Gods. Um, I really like this match. Uh, they told the story here. I like Aussie Open a lot. Like, they're oh, a yeah. really good tag team. Oh, absolutely. Uh, a banger of a theme, too. I don't know who just told me this, but someone told me Run the Jewels did Aussie Open's theme. I'm going to have to look that up to confirm. But really, if that is true, someone let me know. Um, Sammy saved Jericho with a cutter off the top rope. Jericho hits a code breaker, gets a two count. Uh, Aussie Arrow on Jericho, he kicks out at two. A couple mistime errors between Sammy and Jericho, but in the end, Jericho hits the Judas effect for the win. But then they begin to push and shove each other afterwards. This is Sean and Marty all over again. <laughs> what are you doing, guys? What are you doing? Big time, Sean and Marty. Yeah. So they're they're beefing, um, but they got the dub. A win's a win. I'm sure they'll be back next week. They'll patch things up. Absolutely. Meet tweeting up TK for a job, and by meet, I mean legit Sean Stasiak. Uh, is he a doctor or something now? I thought he was. I thought so. What's he What's he trying to do? I'll see your brother and match you with a dude. I'm going to start making out tell me stories in Hulk Hogan lies. Neck strong. Uh, Cactus, is Roderick strong in this neck brace? Is this the level of... Cowboy Orton in the cast. Not yet, but I think they're going to try and get it there because they have him wear it all the time. All the time. Yes, he is a doctor. Thank you. I think the issue with Tony not having a writer is that he tried, and that's how he got the Creepers and Nightmare Collective. No, 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 no. No. That blame was placed on the elite. Cody and all of them got the blame for it, and that's why Tony started taking over more was because of that night. That was not just on that. And if you have a writer, they're gonna have a bad night sometimes. But what I'm saying is he could have a he could have one to three writers. It doesn't just have to be Tony's vision. That's what I'm saying. Tony can still pick who gets what goes on TV and what's produced. Have a writer write it for you though. Because sometimes they forget about people every couple weeks. They do. They do. Let it happen so that we can get a better product. Because the way that it's going right now, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, well, no, it no. makes sense, but it's it's not. I was going to say, like, Jericho Sammy is a simple story. The problem is it's taken months and months and months to get there. Yes. It's just been the same old uh, drib and drab. Now, let's see here. Next, we had the Ricky Starks promo, which showed highlights of his match from AEW All Out with Brian Danielson. I thought that was a fantastic match. I thought this was a great promo. Oh, yeah. They're trying to push Ricky. So even though people are like upset that he lost, I still think that he's looking like a winner even oh, in the loss. Absolutely. I don't have an issue with that. Um, with that L. Yo, what's up with this Hulk Hogan talk now in the chat? Let me tell you something, dude. If I start hearing about pasta mania, we might start handing out band hammers. <laughs> um <laughs> yo, bugging. <laughs> Tell Tony to hire uh, those admins from that one EFED XGW. They ain't ready for us. We had some we had some wild storylines we used to write back in the day. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, for writers, yeah, they wish. C actually, Cactus is a writer. Got some good stories out there. Uh, feel free to advertise, Cat. Moving on into the next phase of this, um, MJF and Samoa Joe. This was money. 
It was. This was money. This is perfect. This was perfect in my eyes. Just MJF is still weird to me. Does anyone else like I don't trust it, bro? I still don't trust him. I, I definitely think there is a plot that needs to thicken, but, but it's only doing it in a specific time frame. And I think it has to stay that way in order for it to make sense. He's going to eventually have to drop Cole. When that yes. happens, I don't know. But MJF is still rocking out with the babyface stuff. He's still scummy, though. Yep. And Samoa Joe, Joey Headrocker, he came in here and he he was hanging on the microphone, I thought. Kid. <laughs> yeah. I thought he did good tonight. I thought Joe delivered on the microphone. I thought this was a good segment overall. It showed MJF's fun, loving side. He had the people of Indiana cheering for him tonight. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Joe looked like he was ready to uh, fight him. Rip his head off. Yeah, Joe's just a good monster. Just a a good, quiet monster who plays it cool. Uh, You would think MJF smacked him. He told the story about what in NXT Brooklyn. He was the security guard. He tried to walk in front of Joe, and then Joe, like, pushes him to the side. Classic moment. I I still remember seeing that. Like, like, I I don't know if he, like, pushed him per se as how he describes it. I think, like, yo, bro, that was like a boom. Like, that, that was almost like a Superman punch push. Too like, much of a push. Like that, that was that was way too strong. Way too strong. MJF hitting all the same notes. I'm starting to like MJF. He's like the Miz with, oh, come on now. <laughs> come on now. I enjoy MJF versus Joe. All he had to do was call him a kid. Hey, Joe, Joe's a vet in the game now. This was a money segment. I would hold off on this match until Wrestle Dream, maybe even carry it into full gear. You've got two potential matches here for this uh, tournament that we're going to get into talking about here. Uh, there's, listen, there's hope. There's time. There's a lot of stuff in here. Yes. Why on earth? Yo, I swear to you, I upload stuff in here, and then it doesn't upload. StreamYard, fix your shit. <laughs> All right? Pisses me off. We heard your complaints. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You're going to hear some more. So Joe ends up getting the best of MJF, and MJF says his neck hurts. Yeah. Um. So that is the storyline right now, that he has an injured neck, and maybe that's going to be the way that people take advantage. Yep. We'll see. We get to the next match. It was a quarterfinals Grand Slam match with Roderick Strong and Trent Beretta. Uh, Roddy came out with the kingdom. Trent Breda came out with his sidekick, uh, your boy, Chuck Taylor. Chucky T. This match was a wrestling match. If you like wrestling, this was it. If you like her Karana's off the top, WCW 1998 style, you're going to get that here. Um, Roger Strong ends up getting the win with the end of heartache, just the way it was supposed to be. Yes. His character's been on fire. Look at that face. Tell me you don't want to punch that face. Oh, absolutely. You you want to big boot those glasses off this dude. You want to rip that neck brace off and put a beat down on him. Take, take a Zamboni to his face. Come on now, bro. That's a little, that's a little rough here. Ah, he'll be all right. So that was the move. That was the way for tonight. And that's what we got. Uh, Roderick wins. I'm not surprised by this. I just don't know if Roderick Strong feels like him and MJF should be main event like a big dynamite or a big show. I think that could be like a dynamite or collision main event, but I don't think it could be like the main event for Wrestle Dream. Like, I'm yeah. not headlining with that. That one's tough. That one's tough. I don't. I don't think. I don't think that works. I think what you did tonight works, but I don't. That I don't know. It just doesn't. It just ain't right. Doesn't hit right. Some something's wrong with that whole thing. Um, next up, we had Adam Hangman Page. Eesh. He came out, and he had a lot to say. He was uh, talking about he won the battle royal tonight. He was proud of uh, winning it. He donated the money to uh, some nice schools in Chicago. If you didn't know, Hangman Page is a former teacher. And, yeah, he did He did good things. He did good things with that money. And I mean that. Like, I'm happy that he did that because kids always can use more money. Teachers could always use more money. As long as you're using it for the right thing, no complaint here from me. None. None at all. So this brings out our boy, 
Whose house? You you were supposed to say Swerve's house. You just went right into Prince Nana mode. You can't be out here. <laughs> you can't be just doing all that. Swerve, why not? Drive. So Swerve comes out and proceeds to cut a promo on Nana. A lot of people really like this. I thought Swerve was telling the truth in the promo, which is what they like. Like, where have you been? Yeah. You've been somebody who they promote, they put up on all the posters. You were a former world champ, and now you're in the pre-show, like doing, doing battle nothing. royals, and you're doing nothing. Not a thing. Called him out for it too, and then Paige got into his face. Right. But in retrospect, I like it. I listen. So, no, I'm, I mean, I'm saying like I like where Hangman sits. So Derek's rude and biased, so we're not going to even put that in on this one. Swerve, I thought, did a good job telling what he wanted people to know here. Yes. Hangman got very upset. He's ready to fight. Brian Cage comes out. What do you know? He attacks Paige, hits him with the drill claw, and looks like we have a feud now between Swerve Strickland and Hangman Page, and he's going to have to go through the uh, Gates of Agony and Brian Cage first. Yeah, I, I definitely, I definitely think uh, as much as I'm not a fan of Hangman anymore, I do think like this would be a great match for him and Swerve. Swerve needs like this, uh, this competition right now because I, I feel like he's kind of been in like a small little rut wrestling people that kind of don't really matter. I guess I don't know. I, I, I think it's cool. like uh, Swerve. Like, I feel no, like what, he wrestled Derby. What you mean? Well, no, no, I mean like. Um, I don't know. I, I guess I guess like the push that he was getting. Swerve has been very stop and go, stop and go. Yeah. But I like him with Prince Nana. I think you can keep expanding upon the group. What Swerve needs is a W. I yeah. keep telling people he's been losing and losing and losing. I get that you want to have him beat people that we know he's capable of beating. Swerve needs a big win here, and I think Paige could be the guy to put him over. I Probably. think I think that would be the call. Swerve said if he had the opportunities Paige had, he would have been the first black AEW world champion already. And I was like, I'm with it. <laughs> Tony, move towards that way. Like, let's get Swerve in that picture too. Please you could do. you could mix it up, man. Please do. Uh, let's see here. He said nobody gave two sugar honey iced teas about Adam Page. Swerve was on fire and spitting facts on Page. Swerve didn't lie because he swerves when he drives. Uh, Joe gave a shout out to Twisted Metal popping up on Peacock. I've got no words for that. E. Uh, Hangman's been hiding from Punk. Wham! Wow. Come on, come on now. Paige hasn't done nothing since the feud with Mox. Yeah, he's been. Yeah. Well, and that bled into that BCC Elite feud. You see what I'm talking about? How the feuds just bleed in, then they continue. No, Hangman has become stale, just riding his pony after ducks. Yeah. Take that doo doo off, off Brian Cage. And it looks like, oh my goodness, stop it. <laughs> Swerve out here provoking. Uh, amen. Swerve needs a dub. Heard that cheer for the first black champ. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, we've been saying it. I think Swerve is going to be the first black champion for the world title. Hey, I respect it. He deserves it too. I think he's busted his rear end to make his name. Oh, big time, without a doubt. So, Rampage. We're getting the Young Bucks on Rampage this week. Funny how that measures up. Well, they're going to be facing 2.0. I think that could be fun. Mm. We're also going to get Samoa Joe versus Jeff Hardy and Penta versus Jay Lethal. Jay Lethal tells uh, cuts a promo. Jay Lethal and Penta is the one I'm going to have a hard time calling. I don't know who wins between those two. That one. That one's going to be... I feel, I feel like you may need to let Lethal get that dub. You may I don't have know. to. You may have to. But th but then but like you let Lethal get the the dub, what does that do? Like I, I don't know, bro. Like I I think if you let him get that, I think it just takes away from everything else. Here, let me see here. I'm gonna share my screen here. I'm gonna pull up the uh, the bracket the bracketology here, just for a second for you guys. Uh, pardon the fuzziness. I'm on Twitter looking at this. Uh. So main event is going to be Darby Allen versus Nick Wayne. The collision will have the semifinals. So Roderick Strong defeated Trent. So Roderick's in the semifinals. Who will he face will be decided in a second here in the main event. Rampage, we got these two guys. And whoever wins on Rampage will then go on to collision as well. So those will be two matches for collision. 
Um, I don't know here, man. That's going to be tough. I, I think we're going to see Jay Lethal and Joe, but I can also see Penta and Joe. Hmm. I think in the finals, I, I'm going to predict now, I think it'll be Roger Strong and Samoa Joe, possibly. I don't know, though, but eh, mm, I take that back. I take that back. They might have to switch it up. They might. They might have to switch it up here. Um, there's a lot of hope here. We're going to see. Um, what else do we have going on on Collision? Oh, here's my fear with Collision, bro. We need Collision to still remain slowed down and different from Dynamite. That's why I like Collision. Please do not start making this like Dynamite where we're rushing through matches. Because here's tonight's lineup. And I thought there were there was way more announced for this show than what we were having before. Mm. Hear me out. Hear me okay. out. Okay. Fire, fire. Roderick Strong versus the winner of Darby Allen, Nick Wayne. Mm-hmm. Jeff Hardy or Samoa Joe versus Pentagon or Jay Lethal. Mm-hmm. We'll hear from Brian Danielson. Okay. We're going to hear from our Bullet Club Gold will be in action. Okay. Soraya and Ruby Soho okay. will be on the microphone, and the Acclaim will be on the microphone. Okay, mate. Well, that's, you... a, that's a lot of segments. You're right. A yeah. lot of talking. And I was just like, okay, so maybe they're going to give these matches some time. Cool. Whatever. We're building towards that Dynamite Grand Slam. Right. But I just hope that we're going to still slow down the show. Don't they, rush. I don't want to hear Excalibur. Good God, we got a rampage. Did you catch it all? And see you there next week. Yeah. Don't rush through all of this. Slow it down. It, you you have to slow it down. It, sometimes you go a little too fast. And... Not in my house. Ooh. You might catch me on the road, but not in my house. Was that Nelly from NBA Streets? Yes. Oh no! Oh no! Yes. Oh no! Now I, I know. I know that was supposed to be the the Kembe though. Not in my house. The, um, Nelly was all right. Nelly had some hits. He had, he had a couple good songs. I, I'm a big fan of Number One. That was my joint. Number One was good. Uh, I, I, we we hey, all know what the what one. the true song was. What a true Number One hit was. What? Country or, Grammar. No. Yeah. What you mean? Hot in her. Diggity. Yeah, I was gonna say. Drop down and get your eagle on, girl. Yeah, I forgot about uh, Country Grammar. That, that's a that's a club song, the eagle. Yeah. Last week collision was type dynamite light, but it was a solid show. Yeah. Uh loving Tony Storm more and more. Yeah, Tony Storm is great. I think I forgot to write that segment down where Tony and the shoe. Tony, people are liking crazy Tony Storm and everything she's doing. I, I think Tony I think Tony Cantana is about to make a full blown dynamite collision without punk. Hey, mm. Daniels is supposed to be running things now, right? Uh he's supposed to be his right hand, right hand man. That's what I heard. Next week, though, on Dynamite, which me and Derek will be back to review, will be Dr. Britt Baker, Hikaru Shida, Tony Storm, and Nyla Rose are going to be battling in a Eliminator match, I think they said. I think that's what they said. I don't know. Uh, or maybe it's number one contenders. I missed it because guess what? They read stuff too fast. No. Hangman Page versus Brian Cage is happening next week. Don Callis reveals his next masterpiece. Don Callis. Never trust him. Never trust him. Trust All the homies guy. hate Don Callis. Can't trust that scar that he got. Nelly crawled so Drake could run and collect bras and have ribbons. <laughs> <laughs> Drake's just bugging, bro. All right. So so what what is this? Like what? I, I didn't see this. Like what? But, Drake and the bras? Yeah. Um, let me see. Let me see if if the picture's close enough in our chat here to uh show you. So there was some debate over why uh drake is no longer going to be be accepted in our group chat talking about him because drake just posted like a picture like a garage full of bras we're like wait why are you collecting these why can i not find this now wait, it might have been like drake 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 hold on here i'm looking i'm looking where was this oh right here see now i gotta pull it up for Derek. this is a live reaction here what the hell? Drake shows off collection of bras he received from fans while on tour. Well, why do you keep them? <laughs> why do you have them? <laughs> they were just saying, they're like, yo, whose man's is this? Who is this guy? <laughs> Drake, Drake, I don't know, bro. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Women's four way winner faces Soraya at Grand Slam for the title. Ooh, boy. Who do you think should get that match with Soraya now that they're bringing it up? Um, would you go Britt Baker, Sheeta, Tony Storm, or Nyla? I mean, I think Tony could give the best match. Tony can give the best match. Um, 
Okay, so it's not Sheeta's time anymore because she already had and, it. And Britt Baker, we've seen that match. I feel like you got to either go Tony or Nyla. I would like to see Nyla get it. Like I, I said before, before we got on the show, I definitely said Nyla needs to get another push because you that that would she was part of your cornerstone of starting this. Yeah, yeah, and it's just she fell to the wayside a little bit. Way but to the wayside. You can put it up. You know, you want to talk about collision and what about the Hulkster collided with the ring at Halloween Havoc after giving myself the invisible big boot and sting <laughs> the rub, dude. <laughs> uh, fans probably throw them on stage like Teddy P got panties thrown at him. <laughs> Drake haircut game, though. <laughs> Derek want to say damn like Farouk. <laughs> damn. Main event time. It was Darby Allen, Nick Wayne. Nick Wayne. World, world <laughs> title eliminator tournament. Nick Wayne. Um, they went in. They had like a nice little baby face match. Darby wipes out to the outside because he doesn't care about his body or himself. Oh, uh, Darby, Darby, Darby. Darby got on the microphone and told Nick Wayne to hit him harder, which I thought was weird. Uh, well, I, I, I get it, though. You, Nick, Nick's holding back because that's his buddy. And he doesn't want to hurt him. The world title shots on the line. I know. I get. Better start listening to to the father of AEW, Christian Cage. Better start listening to that man. Captain Charisma knows. Oh wait, he had on a turtleneck tonight, right? Yeah, I think so. I think he was uh, on top of the stage with it. He didn't wrestle though. He knew. Was it slightly darker black? Slightly darker black. Slightly darker. It was a tactical neck too. Um. Man, we miss Archer. Oh. So, so Christian uh, comes out during the match. He's on the microphone though. He says, "Hit me harder." He rounds up like he's going to hit him harder. Bro hits the best picture perfect super kick I've ever seen. No, I shouldn't say ever, but it was a great one for Nick Wayne. Like you great. Other than Sean, like outside yes. of Sean, I was like that was a great super kick. Yes, um, that's just like Adam Cole and Ricochet. Like I was like, yeah. we caught him. I was gonna say like, as far as like rookies go for super kicks. That that that's up there. That, that, I would have to say that's like top five for for rookies. <laughs> Darby's a kink. What else is new? <laughs> Drake is wild with that bra collection. Better not be some yo chill 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 chill. chill. <laughs> I can't say that stuff, man. So <laughs> he delivers the super kick. He goes down. Christian Cage comes out. He's looking on in the match. Darby ends up winning with a weird submission. So he's like, Nick Wayne is sitting down and his arms are out. Darby grabs his arms and then starts pulling them together. And Nick Wayne is just like, yeah, I'm done. Like he quit yeah. or tapped or whatever happened. I, I think, I think, um, oh God, I had the name of it. And so I, I thought they said it, but maybe, maybe I misheard. Yeah. Maybe they have a name for that move, but GG, it was over. So Darby Allen wins. So Darby is going to be the guy facing Roderick Strong next. You could go Darby and Joe. You could to get rematched, but now that now that um because I here's what I think is gonna happen. Joe and MJF is the match. I think you're gonna go Roderick and uh Adam Cole. That's that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Y'all trying to get me in trouble tonight. Modified surfboard stretch. Yeah, gotta be yes. close enough. Close I, enough. Yes. Close enough. We'll take that. Uh, y'all think Drake sniffs the bras occasionally, wakes up in the morning, <laughs> takes a whip and goes, ah. I think he does more than that. What do you, I, what, I, what do you guys think? What do you think? He's up here looking for titty residue. He, this is inappropriate here. Maybe, inappropriate. maybe, but I, I, I think he, I think he goes by each and every single one of them with a notepad and grades. Christian yeah. was cheering on Darby, kicking his protege in the back of the head. A yes. plus. Yo, chill, bro. C minus. Chill, bro. So, everybody, let me know your thoughts and final ratings for tonight's episode of Dynamite. Um, don't forget, guys, we got some pay per views coming up. If you are in the Pacific Northwest, you have Seattle, Washington, Climate Pledge Arena, Sunday, October 1st. We are going to get Wrestle Dream tickets go on sale in two days at 10 a.m pacific time aew ticks.com aw don't say i don't do nothing for you right all right so you guys can go there check it out get your tickets uh new japan has a show that day so i don't know how many people are going to be on there one name that is missing right now is will osprey so maybe that will pop up for people also 
if you're a Lakers fan, maybe. We have AEW Full Gear happening from the forum. You're going to be able to get those tickets for Saturday, November 18th, live on pay-per-view for full gear. So we got things are happening. Things are moving. Happening. It's going down. Um, Six that I think he wears them. Nothing wrong with that. He It's his collection. He can do what he wants with it. Um, it's like the most flexible <laughs> man in America, I promise you. <laughs> Someone got someone got the reference I just said with the titty residue. <laughs> uh, hey, Zeus DeLeon's giving it a thumbs up, Derek. We were going back and forth. Callum, my two favorite wrestlers, Samoa Joe, John Moxley. What up, Callum? Welcome. Uh, I heard Stranger Things about Drake. <laughs> you probably have. Does Stardom have a show October 1st, too? I don't know. I didn't look into it mm. enough. I would hope not, though, because I would love to get some Stardom mix with the women. Yes. Just to do something a little bit different. Mm-hmm. Matt Lopez says he's going 7 out of 10 for tonight's AEW EPW 10 out of 10. I, 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 I think I can rock with a 7. I'm going to go 6.7 tonight. 6? Okay. Yeah, just out of not hatred. This is barely passing, I'll say, for tonight. Well, th- like, well this was this was this had like kind of a, a awkward setting to it. I mean, you did just get rid of Punk. You got you're trying to reestablish some folks. You're also trying to establish like Roderick Strong's up here. Right. You're, you're trying to do some things, and you got a tournament happening. I'm okay with this. We're building towards things. Six six point seven out of ten is not bad. It's not no. the end. It's okay. It was an okay show. All right. Uh, Ace is going seven point five out of ten. Cali sucks. The Ducks. Seu Curry man. And all y'all PWG, come <laughs> on now. Come on now. Don't be harsh. If Osprey is able to be on Wrestle Dream, I hope they give him Danielson. I could see that. that oh, God. You could do that. That would be fire. Kenny Omega is the only match I think they're not allowed to do. So, why not? Yeah, I think. Contract. No, I think New Japan wants it. They're like, no, no, no. We get the third trilogy. Okay. Okay. We've been helping y'all out. Help us out. So I can see at Wrestle Kingdom, Kenny Omega, Will Ospreay, final one. Let's see who who wins the feud here. If Osprey, so so someone's saying that I ain't like it. They railroad punk punk out of ten. Six at five out of ten. Oh, hmm. no one was on their Bret Hart ish though with that four out of ten. Bret Hart, funniest dude ever, bro. Funniest dude ever. Cracks me up. Listen, guys, we're going to get out of here early tonight because it's been an early one, man. Been doing a lot of uh, getting the intern up. School. School's back. Yeah, I'm back. I hear thunder happening outside. I'm trying to get this done before they knock this power out on us. <laughs> Not appropriate, Derek. <laughs> Got to talk about this, all right? Nick Wayne. I've also noticed some... Uh, <laughs> Some expenses taken out on the company card. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's been it's been sliding more than through card readers. All right, so let's take it easy. <laughs> all right, the EPW card is uh bad here. Uh, bro, did the intern? No, the the intern's been pretty good. But when we ask him like, who did you meet at school? He's just like, I don't know, kids. <laughs> I was just like. All right, I guess that's the answer. Right. I guess that's the answer. That's a solid answer. At least Dynamite didn't hurt anyone, unlike Bill Goldberg. Yep. <laughs> As I heard Bret Hart saying that. So, listen, guys. Um, that was good. <laughs> we got a lot more to look forward to. The Dynamite reviews will keep coming. Yeah. Um, let's see what they can pull out for us. I'm looking forward to seeing what Wrestle Dreams card is going to be. We're just going to have to take the wait-and-see approach. Yes. It's a new era of Dynamite. Let's see what they do. Yeah, we're going to leave that right where it is, Derek. Yeah. We're going to leave that right where it is. Yeah. And here comes that thunder. So listen, for myself <laughs> and for the man in black, the man they call Derek, we are out for this episode of Everything Pro Wrestling. We will catch you guys on Monday for Clash of the Podcast. We are out. One. One.